bedroom and I have another coaster craft for you today. I've already pre-made the, pre the mold and I've pre-mixed my resin. And the first thing I'm going to do is in a little cup, and you can do it in a bigger cup, it doesn't matter. I'm going to pour some of the resin in here and I'm going to add some a little bit of gravel. You could do this in a bigger cup too if you want. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm hoping that the resin will soak into the rocks, seal the rocks a little bit, and before I put them into the mold. And with a stir stick, I'm going to just stir it around. Make sure they're all covered. So I'm going to throw some in here and see how much it covers. Kind of spread it around. And some bubbles actually in this particular coaster would be okay because they're underwater fish, so you would expect to see bubbles. But I'm going to try to get a thin layer across because I don't want this necessarily to be too thick of a coaster. And then what I'm going to do, I have these plastic stickers or vinyl stickers, I don't know what they are. So I'm not going to seal them ahead of time because I don't think there will be a problem. And the first thing I'm going to do is run my lighter over and get rid of some of the bubbles. It won't get rid of all of them probably because there's a lot in there. Okay. And then I'm going to pick which fish I would like to have swimming. And I'm going to have them going in opposite directions. Hopefully have a variety of colors. I think that's enough. So now with the remainder of my resin, I'm going to pour it over a little fishies. Hopefully it'll cover everything. If not, it's not that big a deal. I can always mix a little bit more and add it to it if I need. But I think hopefully this will cover everything. And then we'll just leave this to sit for 12 hours and then we'll come back. It's the next morning and we're back to unmold the fish tank pebble sticker coaster. And this one was thanks to this one was suggested by Lazy Days 2001 IFY. Um, I just added the fish stickers because I thought that would kind of give it a fun look. And I'm going to just take the scissors, trim off anything that might have leaked underneath. So here it is. And you can see I left some of the bubbles in there, figuring it was like a fish tank, so the bubbles are always rising to the top. And again, this was the Easy Cast resin that I used for this and it worked out really well and if you're having any trouble finding the easy cast you can either go to my website and I have a link for products that I use and you can order it right off of there or you can um, find it online in craft stores most craft stores and you can if you're having trouble finding it if you're if you live kind of in an out-of-the-way place or if you live internationally and are having trouble finding it if you go to the website www.eti-usa.com, you'll find a listing of places you can find it both nationally and internationally. So that's a very helpful resource. So I hope you like it. I hope you give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. We will see you next time. Thank you again for watching and happy crafting.